So climate change is a reality. And is there a 97% consensus, as people say? When they go around and say 90% of the, of the scientists in the world believe in climate change, of course they do. I mean, you don't go through geology not recognizing it, you know? So, so you're, you're preaching to the choir. And, and you're, but there's a lot of people out there that don't know that. And so to them, oh, this is news. This is something new. And so you're selling, you're selling them for your own purposes. You're selling them this idea that all the scientists agree. But in reality, all the scientists wouldn't have even questioned it in the first place. Now you talked earlier about how the earth itself is a dynamic body. There's molten lava under the surface, there's continuous tectonic plate movement. And this is a really critical point, that what we are seeing with climate change today is out of context of what the earth, how the earth responds to variations in the, in the solar system and to variations on its own surface. And in fact, the earlier tectonic plate movements completely changed the nature of Earth. Could you tell us about that? Most people today could not imagine Africa being up against South America and Northern Africa being up against Nova Scotia. It was one continuous landmass. And most people couldn't equate with that because Africa's too far away now. How could that possibly happen? But this is a, an extremely active planet and there are things going on that are driven by, by the mantle and by the core of, of the planet and we, we have absolutely no control over that. But some of the changes in the earth that you're talking about are things that happened a long time ago, they happened over very long time scales and they won't be happening in our lifetime. So I, I think many people are, are seeing the climate change experience in the context of their own life and not in these long time scales. Can you comment? Is that the average individual doesn't live long enough to even see the impact of the slightest of changes. If you had more days than a year, what would that mean for climate? In the Cambrian, it's been documented, we have somewhere around 450 days in a year. We've only got 365 days now. So what does that mean? Does that, does that mean that um, the Earth has slowed down? Or the Earth's become bigger? Or the Earth is farther away from the sun, what does it mean? And that's, that's an aspect that it isn't even brought into the whole climate change story. And uh, it's, it's been quite well documented. Add all those together and we have a natural process. And our, our approach has to be to learn to live with the consequences.